Today I'm squaring up with Cam Rowson, two-time King of the Ring champion in two different weight divisions, 8-2 professional MMA career record, and potentially the next UFC fighter to come out of CKB, fighting in Dana White's Contender Series on the 5th of September. How are we going, Cam? I'm good. I'm feeling good. A couple feeling, weeks out. How are you feeling? Yeah. Feeling pretty fresh. Yeah. yeah. The body's feeling good. Everything's firing. I'm ready to go. Is it quite a serious... Um, do you treat it like a tournament? Is, that, is your prep for, say, King in the Ring similar to what you're prepping for this? Is it nah, just another it's, fight? It's, or? It is another fight. Like, every fight's a big fight coming up. Mm -hmm. But, um, no, nah, the technical side of the prep is a lot different for this one than it was for, for King in the Ring. And that's... It's kind of enjoyable, like switching it up, having to um, work on something like quite specific because you know if you're hitting the marks or you're not hitting the marks. How do you, what do you mean by that? There's set, set plays that we, that like the, the coaches will get me to do like on the pads and stuff and mm -hmm. I know if I'm doing them right or if I'm doing them wrong, especially in sparring and stuff. And then um, for a king in the ring, you know, it's, you couldn't fight any of the seven guys so you just don't want to say you do like a general pre preparation, but you do a very like broad preparation for the for the fight. Yeah, for prepping for the contender series, for the big fighters in the UFC, there's a fair bit of footage that they can watch to prep for the fighter and see what they're like. I imagine for the person you're up against, there's not a whole lot. So how does that go with trying to prep for the specific fighter as opposed to an eight round tournament? Um, from from like the footage that we've got, we've we've got some pretty good data. And my coaches are pretty smart, and yeah, we're able to to just look at that and decide what we're going to do, and just nail it down, just get a few things right. So, how did um, getting your foot into the door to get to the in the contender series work? Uh, personally, it wasn't me that did it. It was uh, my manager mm -hmm. and Eugene. They, uh, you know, they they obviously have contacts in the UFC and. Um, they put my name and a few other names in there, sent off a highlight reel, showed them the record, all that, and it just basically just came down to what the what the matchmakers were looking for, and they just chose me. Yeah. And are there other methods that fighters from outside of the world can get in? Because I know um, Blood Diamond got his contract through a different way. Yeah. Um, yeah. What other methods are there? Oh, definitely. There's just like just be a, just be an animal, just be a beast, win on the local scene, regional scene, just dominate. Be a two-time hex yeah, champion. And you just yeah. can't be denied, really. Yeah. yeah, that's it. And it's quite a big um, career opportunity for you with um, a potential contract on the line. Uh, does that kind of weigh into your prep and how you're feeling towards it all, or do you kind of not try not to think about it? No, I definitely take that into account for my prep. It's, um, yeah, I just kind of put everything I hold in my life and and just work for this because it's just something that I've been working on for so long. Whereas like, I don't want to insult anyone, but like some of the other fights that I've had, they, I can still get away with like doing a few other things, not bad things, but like being a little less focused. But, yeah. but, but this one for sure is just everything's on hold, just waiting, just waiting to finish this and get training done. Because will it be kind of a relief then if you're thinking about getting through it? Is oh, 100%. It? Yeah. 100%. Oh, the wait stress level's quite yeah. high. Just like. They are high, but keeping them controlled. Yeah. yeah. Was that quite a skill you felt like you had to develop? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I was like, fuck, I've never been this stressed for a fight before. It's like, okay, this is teaching me something. So, yeah. Did each time you have a fight kind of build up? Because um, like I imagine as the better you do, the more important that like when you're doing amateur fights and then you switch to professional and then you're in an eight man tournament. Um, how far into that career did you um, realize, like, I really need to figure out the stress thing? First fight. First fight? Not even the first fight. It was the first jiu-jitsu tournament. I yeah. did. Fuck, I was pretty stressed for that. Because I hadn't done anything like that before. And, like, I'd never been in any, any street fights when I was a kid or anything. So it was, like, the first time I'm like, oh, fuck, i got to yeah. actually, like, battle with someone. It was a jiu-jitsu tournament. I remember I didn't sleep the night before. How but well? then I got better at managing it from there. And, and I won. Yeah. I won the tournament, so then I was like, okay, it's not that bad. Then you learn to manage it a little bit more. I think it's more just the, yeah, it's just the, the anxiety and the waiting for it is what gives you the stress rather yeah. than the actual getting in there is fine. Yeah. What methods do you use to manage it? Um, hmm. Just a bit of like perspective, knowing that I've gone through it before and like knowing that on the other end it's not as bad as you think it's going to be and being in there is not as bad as you think it's going to be. And yeah. Just using that kind of stuff. Yeah. With uh, 
what's on what's on the line with the contender series. Um, leading up to it, can you only is it about having a single mentality of going in and just no self doubt, or when preparation do you kind of prepare for all outcomes? No self doubt. Yeah, it's got to be all in. There's no. I think with I think with fighting there can't be any self doubt. That's when that's when guys get hurt. Yeah, so yeah. you gotta you just gotta be all in with this. Yeah. So do you think when fighters say like, yeah, sure, that could happen, but they're still backing themselves, or is that even if you admit for a second that you you could lose, that's self doubt? I mean, it's always in the back of people's mind, but you got to manifest it and you got to speak it. You say when I make the UFC, when I beat this guy, not if. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, um, I know when Izzy was prepping for his, um, his contender fight, uh, he was writing on his mirror and stuff like that. Do you use similar kind of manifestation techniques or is any mantras or anything like that? Um, I do quite a bit of visualization, like um, after training, um, before training. I like to just go for like walks or maybe bike rides just without, without any music and that's, that's kind of like my form of meditation without, without having to sit still and do all that stuff. I can't really sit still. Mm. Yeah. You must be struggling right now then. <laughs> no, this is all right. <laughs> if I have to sit still with like no phone, no, yeah. none of that, I'm, I'm screwed. Is that something you had to train yourself to do just to have no music, have, um, have nothing like that and doing an activity and just doing the activity and th spending time in your head? Oh, that man. sounds horrible. My dad used to take me and my brother on these holidays and we'd drive like, we'd drive from like Sydney to Melbourne and then he would just have like his music on the radio. We just, this was before, we didn't have Game Boys. I couldn't read books in the car because I'd get car sick. Before iPhones, before iPods and we'd just stare out the window. I think I got pretty good at just like, <laughs> just doing stuff in my head just yeah. for like hours and hours. So I feel like doing that as a kid and I've still kept that ability just to like visualize quite well. In, like now, I, as I am now. Um, and with, with you fighting in the contender series in a couple of weeks, there's a couple of other fighters that have um, fought in it from this gym. Well, Carlos Allberg, anyway. Um, does, have you asked for advice, or has he offered any advice on how to handle it, what to expect? Um, yeah, he's, he's he's given me a few pointers. He's just saying, I guess, just same thing any anyone would say before the fight. Just go or like before the whole build up, because there is a bit of a build up and you got to talk and stuff and see the camera. He's like, just be yourself, go out there, fight, fight like you'd normally fight. He's like, just have fun, I guess.